the first bout in our Grand Slam of Boxing, Michael Nunn versus Dan Morgan for the WBA Super Middleweight Championship. As we go behind the scenes and take a look at Michael Nunn in his dressing room, getting ready to defend his WBA Super Middleweight title against Irish Danny Morgan. Let's get more on this fight from Jim Hill. All right, Steve, thank you very much. The WBA Super Middleweight Championship is our first bout of the evening. Michael Nunn, a two-time champion, is hoping to reclaim the stature he lost when he was knocked out by James Toney. That KO loss cost Nunn his IBF Middleweight Championship. Since then, he has been reborn as a Super Middleweight. He's a champion once again and wants to keep his belt. The challenger, Dan Morgan, has previously fought for the WBA Super Middleweight Championship. That bout ended abruptly and in disaster. Cristioso knocked out Morgan in the second round. Coming up, Nunn defends his second title, and Morgan challenges for his second time. In 1988, Michael Nunn became part of boxing's royalty. He held the IBF middleweight crown for almost three years before abdicating to James Toney. Now he rules over the WBA super middleweight kingdom with supreme confidence. Style-wise, you know, one of the best boxers in the world today, you know, I mean, a punch bar is starting to come into his own, but my boxing ability is what got me here. The Michael Nunn who fought as a middleweight was a slick boxing defensive fighter. The reborn 168-pound super middleweight version is more of a puncher than a performer. Nunn has twice fought the tough Panamanian Victor Cordoba, first to win the super middleweight championship, then to retain the title in a rematch. I'm the best super middleweight in the world. There's no way in the world Dan Morgan beat Michael Nunn. Dan Morgan was a steel worker with dreams of being a boxer. He still works in a Minneapolis factory galvanizing steel. But he also labors at a boxing career. Regardless of the trade, Morgan applies the same hard work ethic. Since I was, you know, I was a kid, my father instilled this really, he worked hard and to do the job right, and whatever you're doing. While Morgan continued to punch the clock at the factory, he was punching out opponents and keeping an eye on his goal. As he rose through the super middleweight ranks, his dreams of becoming a contender were becoming a reality. I finally made it to be a contender in top 10 in the world. From factory worker to club fighter to contender, Morgan was living his dream. The hard work and dedication were beginning to pay off. Irish Dan could envision the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And then I got to be a contender as a well. It'd be nice to be a world champion, you know? So I got to fight for the world title. I'm lost. I had the chance and opportunity. A lot of people don't get that. I'm grateful for it. Opportunity is knocking a second time for this blue collar boxer. Unfortunately, the odds are stacked against him since he is facing a two-time world champion. Nunn is enjoying his return to boxing's ruling class. He will guard his crown with all his ability. Morgan hopes he can find the chink in Nunn's armor. The only thing standing between me and my dream to be world champion is be like Michael Nunn. Well, you know, Brian him getting an opportunity to fight for the world championship. I mean, he's going to be definitely up for the fight, so I got to be on my P's and Q's, and I got to be ready because this guy's coming in and feeling well. This might be the only time I ever fight for a world championship, so I got to go out there and, you know, be my best and do my best, and you know, I just got to take care of him. I got to get him out of here. Michael Nunn's been knocked down before. He's been knocked out, and, uh, he's, you know, his chin is there, and I'm going to hit it, and I'm going to put it out. If Morgan thinks he can hit me on the chin and take me out, I mean, he's in for a big surprise. I mean, I've been hit by some of the biggest barbers in, in my division and took their shots and kept going. So, I mean, unfortunately, this guy's gonna come up short. I'm a blue collar worker, real hard worker, and don't got a lot of money. And I ain't gonna let this opportunity for my life slide away from me. There's nothing Morgan can do that I've never seen before. But there's things that Michael Nunn can do that he's never seen before and uh, I'll exploit that on the 20th of February here in Mexico City.
so none believes he was born to be a member of boxing's ruling class, and Morgan believes that hard work will be rewarded. So we'll see if none rules or if Morgan gets the job done. Let's go to ringside and Steve. Thanks again, Jim. We are closing in on Michael Nunn versus Dan Morgan for the WBA Super Middleweight Championship. Nunn taking this fight only 22 days after his first defense of the title, a unanimous decision over Victor Cordova. Now, originally, Julian Jackson was scheduled to fight Gerald McClellan for the WBC Middleweight Championship, but Jackson hurt his hand in training, so enter Nunn versus Morgan. Uh, Ferdy, are we looking at a total mismatch here? Well, you'd have to say it's close to it because the only chance that uh, Irish Dan has is his punch, to, to land one punch on none, which isn't easy. So I characterize this as a punch and a prayer. If Morgan doesn't land a punch, he hasn't got a prayer. How about Morgan's strategy for an upset? Morgan's strategy has got to be just to come out and bomb, to try to get him in a fight. None is such a superior boxer. He really is head and shoulders above Morgan. Morgan's only chance is to hope that he lands a good shot. Cinderella time. It's Tokyo again. It's, it's Douglas and Tyson. It's a hopeless underdog against the champion, and just maybe that one punch will land. Now, none went 12 rounds with uh, Victor Cordoba just three weeks ago and took several low blows. Do you think that took anything out of him? No, not at all. After 24 hours, all of that goes away. Besides which, I think a lot of that is acting. They wear this tremendous cut which you can hit with a baseball bat. No, I don't think it has any factor whatsoever in this fight. All right, so it's Nunn and Morgan. Let's take a look at the challenger, Irish Danny Morgan in the ring. A steel worker out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, 41-2 and two with 30 knockouts, rated number 12 by the WBA. Tonight, his second title shot, losing via TKO in the second round to Cristioso in 1990 for this very title. Morgan, a former U.S. Marine, was taught to box along with his five brothers by his father, Jim, who gave up boxing to become a pro wrestler and now here is the champion Michael Dunn making his second defense of the title in just over three weeks the Davenport Iowa product now living in Agora Hills California is 39 and 1 with 25 knockouts that lone blemish the disheartening defeat to James Tony back in 91 in Nunn's hometown when Nunn was ahead on all cards got careless in the 11th and he was decked losing the IBF middleweight crown often criticized for his non-aggressive running style none perhaps tired of all the booing has been more aggressive of late let's check the tail of the tape the 29 year old nun is two years younger than morgan none with a two inch height advantage the weight even at 168 and a one and a half inch reach advantage for none to the rules according to the wba 10 point must system in effect three judges scoring the fight no standing eight count the three knockdown rule is in effect it almost had to be enforced in Nunn's last fight when he knocked down Cordoba twice in the second only the referee can stop the fight a fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the last round so here at gigantic Azteca Stadium in Mexico City the huge crowd getting set for the WBA super middleweight championship let's get the official introductions from our ring announcer Jimmy Lennon Jr. Gentlemen, damas y caballeros, bienvenidos aficionados al box al Estadio Azteca en la Ciudad de México. Hoy tenemos una gran noche de boxeo que viene a ustedes por Don King Productions, King Vision, SET Pay Per View y Estadio Azteca. Presentamos Poker de Aces. Well, fans, we welcome you to Mexico City as we present a big night of action, an unprecedented four world championship bouts, the Grand Slam of Boxing brought to you by Don King Productions, King Vision, SET Pay-Per-View in association with Estadio Azteca. Bien amigos, esta es la primera atracción especial de la noche de 12 rounds por el título peso supermedio de la Asociación Mundial de Boxeo. This bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, the President, Presidente Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor Manuel Landero, presentando a los jueces. Introducing the judges at ringside. Hector Hernandez, Rogelio Perez, Alejandro Rochin. And now presenting the referee in charge of this bout, Enzo Montero. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing, the WBA Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Presentando al retador en la esquina azul, 
Introducing the challenger in the blue corner, wearing green trunks with white trim, un peleador de Minneapolis, Minnesota, en los Estados Unidos. Pesando 76.1 kilos, he weighed in 168 pounds, con un record de 41 victorias, dos derrotas y 30 victorias por knockout, with a record 41 wins, two losses, 30 